Hey, good morning, New Life Church. We are continuing on in our series, uh, looking at the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Today, I want to talk to you about the power gifts. We're back in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. I'm going to start reading to you here in verse 8. It says, To one, there is given through the Spirit a message of wisdom, to another a message of knowledge by means of the same Spirit. Now, here we go. Here are the power gifts. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by that same Spirit. And to another, miraculous powers. And that's where I want to stop today. Talk to you about faith, about healing, and about miraculous powers. I know I've seen these take place all through my life uh, in the church. And I'm going to talk to you about an example of that uh, tomorrow. But today, I want to take a look at what, what story came to my mind immediately. It was the story of Jesus and the four friends that wanted to see their friend healed. And they went, as many of us know, and they lowered their friend through the roof to get to Jesus. But let's look at what, what caused the healing to take place. So here we are in Mark chapter two, starting in verse three. Check this out, it says, "'Some men came bringing to him a paralyzed man "'carried by four of them, Since they could not get him to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus. They were tearing the roof off. You're talking about raising the roof. This is a little bit different version here. By digging through it and then lowered the mat the man was lying on. Look at this. This next verse is probably the most important verse. It says, when Jesus saw their faith, like he saw their faith, they had a gift of faith on them. He saw their faith. He said to the paralyzed man, Son, your sins are forgiven. Let me tell you what, there's a miraculous power that only Jesus has. Jesus is the only one that can forgive sins. And then it goes on down. I want to pick back up in verse 8. And it says, Immediately Jesus knew in his spirit that this was what they were thinking in their hearts. And he said to them, Why are you thinking these things? Which is easier to say to this paralyzed man, Your sins are forgiven? Or to say, Get up take your mat and walk but i want you to know that the son of man has authority on earth to forgive sins something only jesus can do and so he said to the man i tell you get up take your mat and go home he got up he took his mat he walked out in full view of them all this amazed everyone and they praised God saying, we have never seen anything like this. Well, of course, they had never seen anything like this. Let me tell you what, that same power that Jesus had back then to heal, he's still doing it today. I'm gonna tell you tomorrow about uh, somebody that I knew that was healed uh, right here in our community by one of our pastors. Had, had The Lord put the gift of healing on him and he anointed this man and he was healed. But I wanna tell you what, our God, He has miraculous powers. And when we have that gift of faith, we can see the Lord come through, do miraculous things. I pray you see it in your life. Our our God, our Lord, our Savior Jesus, He's still alive and well. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Talk to you again soon.